Hey, what's up garden friends? Hope everybody's doing well. I have a fun planter to throw together. Fun and very simple. Now, I have this big bowl planter here that I've had for quite some time. Earlier in the spring, I planted this up with an Iconia begonia, had a hosta in it and some other things, and the heat of the summer just took everything out. Except for this alyssum. It hung on by a thread, which I'm really surprised by. I figured if it, the heat was gonna take the begonias out, then it would probably take the alyssum out too, but no, it's still in there. Needs a cutback, needs a little bit of TLC, and I think it's going to do all right, partially because, well, it's not fall quite yet. It's actually 95, 96 degrees right now, but within a couple weeks, temperatures are gonna be cooling, and this should take off and fill back out and do really well. So I'm gonna leave this as a spiller over the front. Uh, the main focus of this planter is actually this Bodleia, this butterfly bush in the back. This Bodleia Miss Pearl from Proven Winners. I also have a couple of lavenders here and a lamium. I don't know if that's going to fit in here. I'm not positive also is gonna fit in here, period. But it is a little bit later in the season, so I'm not too concerned about overcrowding the pot. I really just kinda wanted to toss something together that would be low maintenance, not need a lot of water, and still be really beneficial to the birds and butterflies. Not the birds and butterflies, bees and butterflies. Hummingbirds too. Just something with some cooler colors to it. I am going to be adding quite a bit of this turfus to here. It's the same difference as just putting in some type of gravel. I just want to make sure that the soil drains really, really well because none of these plants here like to be hot and wet. So this is going to help aid in letting that soil dry out a little bit faster. Would you look at that? Not exactly rooted into its can, is it? Nope. Not at all. That's okay, actually. That just gives me more room to work with in the planter. I'm fine with that. I mean, not fully fine with it. If you're going to charge me for something in a three-gallon container, then it would be nice if it was filled out to that. Instead, this is something that really would be rooted to a one-gallon, but that's all right. Moving forward. And then the original plan here was to put these lavenders kind of in front of it. I was concerned they might be a little bit too big, but as I get in here and look, I see there are three separate plants in here. So I'm actually going to go ahead and divide those up and use those smaller plants instead of using these two bigger plants, which works out well because it means I have an extra lavender to do something else with. With luck, they should just pull right apart. Nice and easy. Hey, that actually worked out really well. I was able to get in here, get three different plants without disturbing their roots too terribly much. Actually setting these in just a little bit higher than I normally would with other planters, other arrangements, only because with lavenders, where I live, anywhere that's hot and humid and wet, those conditions are like the kiss of death for these guys. And the butterfly bushes tend to prefer things on the drier side as well. So that's why I added the amendment in here so the soil will drain quickly. And like I said, I want these raised up just a little bit. These are not a hardy variety where I live, but the butterfly bush is. So I want to make sure that this is set up correctly to get this through the winter time. Just going to come in here and fill this back in all the way with that nice, rich, organic, composty type of soil that has that blend in it to help it drain more quickly. Oh, well, hey, and while I'm at it, may as well go ahead and pot up this other lavender that ended up being an extra by surprise. I bet this actually is probably about a perfect fit. Like I said, I want it to be a little bit higher. Maybe not quite that much higher though. Tease those roots out a little bit because it's a little bit too big down here for the pot because it tapers a little bit. There we go. That's a perfect fit. Really? Yeah, that fits in there just right. Okay, now that I have that all put together, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to cut about two thirds off of that alyssum. I know it seems a little bit extreme, this is going to encourage it to push back out, fill out. It'll look a lot nicer, hopefully, in the next couple of weeks. There it is. Now, I know that these don't go together. It's not meant to be a set. It was just happenstance that I ended up having the extra lavender. I didn't realize that I could divide these up. So now I have that extra one, which is in this fun sort of weathered terracotta pot. I really like the way that looks. But yeah, like I said, they're not, not meant to be matchy. So I'll be able to take this lavender in in the wintertime, and I'll probably just let those go over here and try and preserve the uh, why do I keep wanting to say bird of paradise? The butterfly bush that's in there. Very, very different plants. These lavenders are the Javelin Forte Deep Purple. It doesn't show as much right now just because the heat has been very, very, very extreme the last few days, but they do actually have a darker purple flower on them than a lot of other lavenders do. It's really pretty and they smell phenomenal. It smells so good. That in combination with the butterfly bush behind it, it just, it smells amazing. However, it is unfortunately a zone eight lavender. So like I said, not a perennial, but the butterfly bush is. Here's the tag for that butterfly bush. Miss Pearl, she has smaller flowers on her. I really like the flowers on this particular butterfly bush. They're smaller, they're more dainty. This one's hardy zones five to nine, which is pretty typical for a butterfly bush. You get four feet tall by five feet wide. So obviously it's not gonna be able to stay in this pot forever, but 
for this season and uh, part of next year, I'll probably have it in there and move it into my butterfly garden. I will have to protect it during the winter time, especially in a container. I'm in zone six, but still, that's a little bit rough when they're in a pot. You usually wanna go about two zones below your zone, so unless it's hard to zone four, even still, it's just easier to protect your containers in the winter time. So I'll put this somewhere protected, splash it with some water probably once a month, just to kind of keep some moisture down in there and keep things full and healthy. Talking about the root system and the flora and fauna of the soil that is. I didn't end up using the lamb's ear, which I think I called lamium earlier. I think it would have been a little bit too obtrusive. It isn't gonna divide up easily to fit in front of everything. And the alyssum should hopefully fill back out once the cooler temperatures arrive about next week, really. I would like to top dress this. I think it would look a lot more tidy, but it's supposed to be really hot the next few days and top dressing does hold in some moisture. So I don't want to do that just yet. I'll wait till next week and I'll throw some decorative gravel or something on top of there and that'll look a lot nicer. I'm going to have to keep a close eye on this just because the lavenders, if they overcrowd, they'll get a lot of dead spots in them particularly when the butterfly bush starts to fill out, which probably won't even happen this year. It only has about six to eight weeks of growing time, and it's not going to do much because the day lengths are a lot shorter. Nighttime temperatures are going to start to become cooler. So that's still a few weeks away. Still, I don't expect this to really do much at all this year. Like I said, I just wanted something that smelled nice, had cooler colors to it, and nice textures that the birds and the butterflies and hummingbirds would appreciate. Obviously, I appreciate it too. It's just something a little bit different from all of the fall planters that I've been doing lately. I was happy and pretty surprised that the scent between the butterfly bush and the lavender don't cancel each other out. Sometimes if you have too many scented things in one area, the scents can kind of start to cancel each other out. So I'm glad that that's not happening here. I can smell this from back here. I'm probably saying about five feet away. Smells wonderful. This one's going to be an indoor lavender, though I won't be moving it in until temperatures start to drop. Once temperatures start to get really just around frost temperatures, below 38, I'll move that in, put it in a very, very, very bright and sunny window, but not necessarily in direct light, not for more than maybe an hour anyways, because it can burn. Things kind of magnify through the glass a little bit. Then I'll be sticking this guy in full sun as well, but mostly morning sun. I want it to get probably a good six hours of morning sun and I will not be watering it in the afternoon in the heat. I'm gonna to have to make sure to water this guy early in the morning to avoid it rotting because lavenders really rot super easily for me and my garden in the heat, the wetness, it's just, doesn't always work out well. That's why I wanted to make sure I raised them up and I've already, I've already been over all that. Yeah, that's gonna do it. it. Wasn't really a point in this. I just kind of thought I'd bring you guys along while I toss together some planters that are a little bit different from some of the other ones I do. When I get this top dress and that alyssum starts filling out, I'll update that stuff on like Instagram and probably my weekend vlogs as well. Speaking of which, all my social media is linked down below, down there in the description of the video. Follow me and I follow you back. I have a lot of fun seeing everybody's plant pictures and comment down below. I love talking to everybody and hearing what's going on in everybody's garden. Don't forget to like the video it helps a lot i really appreciate every single one of those thank you so so much and subscribe as well i upload multiple times a week and hit that notification bell that way you know when the new videos come out otherwise youtube won't tell you okay that's all i'll shut up now as always everybody most importantly keep on growing bye bye